The next frontier in drone warfare. AI-powered drone swarms are being used by Ukrainian troops on the battlefield. According to reports, three Ukrainian drones recently approached Russian positions and independently determined the moment to launch a strike using technology developed by Ukrainian company Swarma. The software claims the drones can coordinate their actions in flight and to some extent decide on attacks independently. They can also adjust roles if one drone becomes inoperable or loses power. A sign of the future of battle. To the people on the ground, all they know is that there are a number of drones up there. They don't know how they're controlled. But with a true AI drone swarm, there will not be a human piloting each drone. There will just be one human who's supervising the entire swarm. Two reconnaissance drones, which will scout out the area and find where targets are. The human commander will then say, yes, those look like valid targets. Attack that, that and that. The attack drones will then come in as a swarm, and between them they will work out which drone attacks which target, so they don't all go for the same target. Uh, and so you get one drone attacking each target in the first wave. After that, the reconnaissance drones will assess the damage, and then follow-up drones will be assigned to anything that's not destroyed uh, until all the targets have been taken out. Uh, and the human commander just needs to verify that and say, job done, you can return home. The concept of drone swarms themselves has been tested over the last few years, and we've seen the use of artificial intelligence increasing, enabling Ukraine to successfully take on an adversary with much more fighting power. An example of this was Ukraine's Operation Spiderweb earlier this year, where 117 drones took out one third of Russia's strategic cruise missile carriers worth billions of dollars. Ukraine used artificial intelligence to ensure pinpoint accuracy, training the drones using AI inside an aviation museum so they could recognize and strike aircraft to maximize destruction. Integrating AI with drone swarms would see them become more sophisticated and lethal. The whole AI drone thing has been more complex than people thought. I think they've only been used in the, the last few months, um, and which is why we're only getting reports now. Equally, there are claims on the Russian sides that they are using AI-powered swarms. We haven't seen any solid evidence of that, but it seems quite plausible that they are at a similar level to the Ukrainians probably a bit behind. Powering drone swarms with AI has clear pros. Once they're given a target zone by an operator, they don't need continuous monitoring. They can't be jammed and they aren't restrained by the length of optical fibre cables. However, they cost a lot to make due to their advanced chips and extra cameras. They struggle in certain terrain and they're not fully reliable yet an issue that has been raised by MPs in the UK. My concern would be control of AI and knowing that the target that you're trying to prosecute is indeed a, still a viable target right up to the, the last safe moment. Once you lose control of that drone and it becomes AI capable, um, in theory, it could indeed switch to a more preferential target, which may be a good opportunity or it may be a, a catastrophe that ends up as, as front page news. So what could the future of AI powered drone swarms look like? You can have a swarm which could have some ground robot some sea robots, some air robots, some undersea robots, some in space. Drones are already responsible for 80% of casualties in Ukraine and Russia. Now we have the first reports of AI drone swarms being used, that number could go up. I think we will see more and bigger and smarter swarms and I don't think it will take very long at all seeing how things have evolved in Ukraine so far before we start seeing swarm versus swarm combat. Before very much longer, we will see a, a drone swarm arms race with lots of people wheeling out uh, increasingly capable swarms. And an awful lot is going to depend on how good their software is and how well it can cope with other swarms. So uh, I can see there could be some very rapid change ahead. Sophie Kakrianis, BFBS Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.